This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. So I was in the middle of creating a tutorial for the electricity box, but then I realized uh, I don't have a light switches. So let's make a tutorial about light switches as well here. So let's create a light switch. First thing to create a light switch, we will create an actor. And here I'm gonna create a new actor blueprint class and I'm gonna call it BP light. So this is gonna be our light actor. It's gonna be simple point and light for now and uh, it's gonna be our light source. That's how it's gonna be called. And by default we can set it to be uh, invisible. So it's gonna be invisible. And we can create some functions here, like turn on light, turn off light. In the turn on light, I'm going to simply set light source to be visibility, like that. That's for turning on, new visibility, true. So let's turn it off now. Visibility off. But I also want to create a variable, call it B is light on, which is going to be here in the turn of light and it's going to be set. Is light on? No, because we turned it off. But we can copy this and go to turn on light. And if we cop uh, paste, paste it here, we can set, okay, we turned on light. Let's set it light on. So this is going to be useful when we create um, our light switch right now. So uh, this would work, uh, but uh, I will go a little bit more advanced and I will get light source here in the construction script and I will get in uh, set intensity and I will get new intensity and promote it to a variable and call it light intensity and I'm gonna make variable uh, public also I'm gonna branch if the light is on because I want to be able to edit in the editor to set okay I want this light to always be on when the game starts so if it's gonna cons construction does the thing when the before the game starts so uh, here I'm gonna if that's true I'm uh, having a small lag because I'm um, rendering video in the background but I hope you don't mind so if the light is on by default we can set it by default in editor if the light is on we want to turn it on and if light is off, we want to turn it off. But this still stays the same. This just changes visibility. And also set attenuation radius. And this is gonna be also variable light radius. You don't have to do this, but this is just extra things so your light can be more um, more um, editable. You can also set light color here, and I will promote the variable and call it light color. And by default, it's going to be white. So what happens now is if we set the light in our scene here, we can make light on. We can oh. Let's just set the default intensity to be 5000 and the light radius to be like 1500 by default. So now if we go ahead and as you can see we can uh, edit our light and let's slide color. So compile and as you can see we can edit the color of light as well all in the editor so it's very modular. 
but let's be able to turn down this light so let's get the color green just for example and um, let's create another class and call it bp light switch perfect and uh, first we're gonna create a variable that's gonna be called bp light and why we are co uh, calling it bp light is because it's gonna basically be our bp light so search for bp light and get object reference so that's basically our blueprint that we made and with this we are gonna get some references so we can get bp light here and uh, this light switch is gonna have interface so class settings and it's gonna have bpi interact set interactable to be true and on interact we're gonna branch out light on so we have a boolean that we made in the bp light that's gonna say okay is the light on So, also, in the viewport, I will add uh, some cube. I will make it really small, because that's our light switch. You can uh, get a model for light switch, and you should, if you're creating a game. But for me, this is gonna be okay. It's just simple... Uh, cube so I can touch it and I can turn on the light and let me just change material let's say something like doors material just for example you can make it as you wish and my light switch is gonna go here as you can see that works good and now uh, we have all this stuff so first thing first we're gonna check uh we are already checking so if the light is on we want to turn it off when we press the switcher turn off oh from the bp light obviously turn off light to make it a little bit cleaner i can copy it here kind of like this oh my god i'm lagging so much because of the rendering and here turn on light and uh, this light switch is gonna get uh, up uh, um, more advanced in the future so this is simple light switch let's go ahead and uh, try it out um oh okay so basically event begin play get uh, we should get oh sorry 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 no 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 so in the bp light we want to set it as a um, public and now when we are in the map when we press on the bp light as you can see this is our light here the green one so when we press the light switch we can pick actor from scene and click the bp light and now if we go ahead so even if it's on by default we can turn it off on and off as you can see but in future episodes we're gonna make it so you cannot turn it on if the uh, there is no electricity so yeah i just wanted to make this simple tutorial uh, so i can continue with the electricity box so that's it for this simple light switch tutorial and see you in the next episode.